Now that's something that you'll only see here in Abu Dhabi or UAE, a Mercedes-Benz showroom in a mall. I'm just wondering whether I should spend some time with my viewers in Dubai. I've been receiving a lot of messages, a lot of comments. So here coffee shops are big, right? Big. So Emirati culture is about um, shisha and coffee. Ah. Well, if you're in Abu Dhabi, you have to get some dates. Wow. wow. Joe, you are on. Exactly, I'm Fatush, Yelanji, Bangladesh, Well, where are the Louvre? Art is also a fascinating window into what people may have eaten in those times. So we're at this restaurant called Desert Lotus here in Al Bandar, very close to where Joe lives. So we want to take her daughter out uh, for the day, so we came here for lunch. Didn't vlog through the meal, but uh, some great Thai food, a bunch of dishes that we tasted. We tasted some noodles, some spicy noodles, we did some avocado maki, shrimp, some edamame, chicken satay. We closed with a very refreshing taptim grove, some water chestnuts, some jackfruit with some uh, coconut milk, etc. So if you love your Thai food, if you love a bit of Japanese, definitely look this place up. It's called Desert Lotus and it's located here at Al Bandar. I didn't want to record because we were having a good time with uh, Jo on the table with her daughter. And so I hope you enjoy the B roll of these dishes that we tasted. Also, what's lovely here is the view that you have from this restaurant. So that's uh, Yas Bay there, the Yas Island. We're staying somewhere there in one of those buildings up there and uh, so when you're here you also enjoy this brilliant view try to get a table by the window back in the scorching abu dhabi sun this one it's a nice uh, pub upstairs is ornina ornina is very arab and like you have the shisha the arab music playing it's amazing downstairs is specific good uh, tiki lounge okay is, uh, typical tiki culture, tiki, tiki cocktails. culture, tiki cocktails. Yeah. So that's where they stage the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, somewhere in there. The Yas Marina circuit. So you can do go karting there. Uh, for like two hours and do your competitions or uh, like spend some time like recreation. Well, you can do all that at the train yas on the marina circuit. So it's not just about watching the Grand Prix, but you can also have a good time. So you basically just come here, order from one of the restaurants, yeah, sit down. You can order from like multiple restaurants and they'll get you the cuisine. So what's it called? It's called Huma. Huna. Huna. So it's Huna like, a, like a gourmet. Uh, so like a restaurant come food court. Yes. It's nice to see spaces like these where you can just hang out, decide what you want to eat, select your favorite cuisine from the many on offer and sit down and enjoy your meal. This is at the Yas Mall on Yas Island. Now that's something that you'll only see here in Abu Dhabi or UAE, a Mercedes-Benz showroom in a mall. Well, the ladies are shopping at the mall and even as I watch what's happening around, I'm just wondering whether I should spend some time with my viewers in Dubai. I've been receiving a lot of messages, a lot of comments asking if I will visit Dubai and I'm just contemplating perhaps I should just make a short dash to Dubai and uh, meet people at one of the malls. So Dubai is about an hour away and tomorrow is when we are leaving back to Bengaluru. So I'm just wondering if we'll have enough time. 
so an hour to dubai an hour to drive back and then perhaps a couple of hours in the mall so i'm just contemplating whether we should actually attempt this meet and greet and because it's so hot currently you can't really do it outside you can only do it somewhere in an indoor space like this i'm just wondering if i should just put out an announcement saying i'm coming to dubai and i'm going to be at let's say the dubai mall between uh, 11 or 12 and 2 in the afternoon and just uh, catch up with whosoever desires or wishes to say hello i'm quite tempted to do that what an interesting mall this is lot of food options and of course plenty of retail brands too there is interesting restaurants in all sort of alcoves like leto which is in this atrium right there we're having coffee at a place called rain So यहाँ पे कॉफी शॉप्स आर बिग राइट बिग सो इमरासी कल्चर इज अबाउट शीशा एंड कॉफी सो दर इज नॉट टू मच ड्रिंकिंग इट्स मोस्टली दे डोंट ड्रिंक इन जनरल दे डोंट ड्रिंक सो कॉफी इज दे दो एंड सो इज शीशा सो यू विल सी अ लॉर्ड ऑफ देम सिटिंग इवन इन दफ्टरनून हैविंग अ शीशा एंड अ कॉफी इन स्पेंडिंग टाइम एट द कैफे सो इफ यू इफ यू मूव अराउंड इन द सिटी यू विल हैव लाइक अ सिंगल लेन वुड हैव प्रोबेबली 10 to 20 coffee shops yeah. and very elite ones like great beans uh, great coffees and even the gcc region uh, like the lebanon beans the moroccan beans they are also really nice which are not very well yeah. spoken about uh, and the local uh, cafes will uh, have the beans from these regions mm. and uh, there are some really nice nutty flavors local coffees which i haven't had the opportunity to try because coffee. most of these places that we go to are very international very fancy like this one rain very strong coffee culture as soon as you enter the mall like joe was saying you can actually smell the coffee uh there was some good coffee there they asked us if we wanted brazilian or ethiopian i hope there'll be a day when they will say do you want brazilian ethiopian or indian coffee i think that's a challenge for indian coffee producers and marketers to make sure that our wonderful coffee is positioned right up there I'm not stepping into that store but if you ever see that board Lederack or Lederack whatever it's pronounced Swiss chocolates stop by one of the best chocolates that you can find that I've tasted at least Yes shopaholic are you enjoying your time at I'm very very happy in Abu Dhabi I'm sure you're happy in Abu Dhabi and Sure. Are you happy at the Louvre or are you happy at Yas Mall? Yes. There you go. Well, if you are in Abu Dhabi, you have to get some dates. Zadina, the date master. Come here, try the dates, and then decide what you want to pick. There's a bunch of dates. There's dates with orange. There's dates with pistachio, with walnuts. This is Ajwa. I think is a different variety. These are darker dates. I don't know what that is. Rahash. Maybe it refers to that thing that's in between, that sandwich between the dates. Reduced milk solid. Perhaps something like kowa. Pecan. Kidri dates. With a pecan. How's it? Very nice. Mm. This one and this one. There's orange peel, candied orange peel. Mm. Mm. Actually, they've created like a date palm, no? Yeah. So there's a date palm trunk with all those dates: pistachio, almonds, cashew, something else too.
And once you're done selecting your dates, they'll even gift wrap that box for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. So what does this place serve, Joe? Uh, it serves the Marathi and Lebanese cuisine. Okay. Uh, they also have this very traditional authentic shisha with like some eight ten flavors, um, and people mostly come here for the shisha and the food, all the authentic. So you will see all the uh, Lebanese, uh, Jordanians, Moroccans, Marathis flocking into the place. Uh, they have live music and. Uh, you know the, the vibe is very very fantastic uh, yeah so we have to do some medze oh yes first we start with the medze platter it's going to be really nice lovely they serve with hot pita breads and hummus and tabbouleh and fattoush and everything so i'm sure nice. you're going to like it so of course we are a bit early here so i don't think we'll catch the um, the Great. live performance will we okay art baj gaya na ek ghanta to i think ek ghanta Good. So, looking forward to seeing what the vibe at Dandana is all about. Uh, I have tabula. Tabula, fatush. Chiba and yugas and hummus, muhamma and uh, mutabal. And the mutabal. So you want you want like something which is hot as well. I want falafel with the hummus. Yeah. So hummus one portion of falafel, please. Okay. One cold meze mix and one portion of falafel. Falafel. Yeah. Okay. Some pita. Oh wow. wow. फतूश फ्रॉम सीरिया फ्रॉम लेबनॉन That's a tabule from Lebanon. Yes. I will like it, Shri. Yeah. This is my kind of food. <laughs> yeah. What is this of the falafel with tahini? Is it? What is that? Yes, the tahini. The sesame paste. And the falafel wrap is also served with like the Arab bread. Uh, and pickles. And pickles. This chicken liver with pomegranate, with pomegranate sauce. Fantastic. Toshka. So it's like some bread with some mince, is it? Mince. It's minced and cheese. Meat with yeah. the cheese. Wow. Now's the part of the evening when the atmosphere picks up. Got to see the live music on stage. Post 9 p.m. and then I'm told people also get on to the dance floor. I'm sure traditional Arabic dance, folk dance, or whatsoever. I'm not sure, but there's certainly a lot happening here at Dandana Gourmet. Manakesh with the zatar. Hmm. It's quite um, squeaky in its springiness. 